Welcome back everyone. Thanks so much for clicking on this video. Today we are showcasing a dolphin drawing that I did. And as you know, uh, I do create a layer first, do my rough draft in a smaller um, fill or opacity so that that way I know where I'm going to start doing my drawing even though I don't go exactly on top of each line. And then I create a new layer and that's when I start getting into the darker pen. So this is called a bottlenose dolphin and I found a couple of fun facts and I also found um, what the bottlenose dolphin sounds like and I would love to share that with you now just eh, if you're curious if you want to know what they sound like if you're ever out there in the sea. So this is what they sound like. which sounds kind of like a very annoying beeping thing. Anyways, so moving on, let me give you a couple fun facts about the bottlenose dolphin. They are smart and friendly. They can live anywhere in the ocean. They love to live amongst other dolphins um, and in large groups of families, which are called pods that are usually 10 to 15 um, in count, maybe more, you know, they're very friendly. So uh, who knows how many, but they do love to live amongst people, uh, dolphin people, not us people. Um, so they're very into the community. They're also um, into taking naps with one eye open. They do not sleep just for survival purposes because you know out in the ocean living anywhere you just never know what you're gonna encounter so yeah you gotta be careful for those sharks and other big animals they also have um, the ability to use echolocation so with sound frequencies they can you know see what's around they also apparently can have x-ray vision which is kind of what this echolocation kind of thing is. If I am wrong, please comment down below, but they can figure out a way to see if they see a shark and the shark's stomach is empty or it's gonna attack because it's obviously hungry. So that's kind of cool. It's very survival of the fittest um, technique they have there. Uh, also, it says that they have hair, but I looked into it and it said that they were born with hairs, like very tiny, small hairs. And once they start growing, I guess they grow into the hairs and it's not hair anymore. And it's smooth, you know, silky, however their skin feels. So that's kind of cool. They do live as long as humans do. So they do have a long lifespan. And I guess that's also from the whole community thing, living with families and stuff. They're kind of, give me the Latino vibes. I don't know. Um, what else? So dolphins do not drink water. I don't know what they drink. I guess they don't drink anything at all. I did read that they uh, have to get up on the surface of the water to get some air because they do need to breathe air from the top hole they have on the top of their head, which is called the blowhole. The blowhole, yes. Um, they have very large brains which means, you know, that they're smart. So that's a, that's a good one. And yeah, that's, that's about it for our fun facts for now. Um, I'm just gonna talk a little bit about the drawing before the drawing is over because I recorded one take earlier and I didn't have time. So I started just babbling. All right, so once I did my first uh, rough draft layer. I created the second one and I started getting really into the outline of the uh, dolphin and using my reference picture I started checking proportions, seeing where the, the hard lines are, where I have to shift and use my lasso tool and turn certain things like the flippers. Um, I loved that this picture had splashes of water it had the sea under it with the, the cool waves of the water 
So I incorporated that into the drawing because just the dolphin itself is a little simple so I wanted to make it a little bit more interesting, um, especially with the water and I love how the water came out, I think it looks really cool. And I also added the sea under with the floating water. Um, I think it's pretty cool when you have a very simple animal to draw or a simple subject to make some details, do a little bit of a background, foreground, the foreground being the dolphin and the background, the horizon with the water, which is kind of nice. And it's also fun because that way it's a little bit of a challenge for you to get your you know colors and start <laughs> coloring each and every little splash of water. But if you do not want to, um, rest assured, this is a great art piece for you to print out and frame it just as is, you know. Just do a, a very nice gallery, you know, if you have a beach theme, a, a bunch of black and white, you know, drawings and you can frame them and they, they look beautiful as is. But if you don't, you can also color these in and that works too. So on the final stage, I am just tweaking some things and cleaning the lines and erasing um, but this drawing is pretty much done I had a lot of fun so if you do want to check this out check out my Etsy page and you can definitely download this thank you everyone for taking your time to be here with me please like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next video thank you so so much take care Wow, 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 wow.